Hello everyone, and welcome back to Coronavirus Corner. How can it be another weekend already? Well, they don't feel like weekends, do they? Maureen and I usually go for lunch after church. The fox and ducks do a two-for-one on Sunday roasts. And we sit in there all afternoon. Well, it can take over an hour to get served. But we don't mind if we've got a glass of pinot and some Nobby's nuts. And when we've eaten, we still sit there. There's always someone to talk to. We've seen the vicar in there once or twice. Always on his own, poor chap. I bet he's too tired to cook after he's done a Sunday morning service, what with the children running round shouting and old Arthur Fretwell hitting the pews with a stick because he thinks he's seen a rabbit. A few months ago, he was convinced he'd seen someone under the communion table and he'd crawled up under the cloth and grabbed the vicar's ankles just as he was blessing the wine. Oh, that took some cleaning up. The vicar looked like an Italian padre who'd been shot in the chest by a mafia hitman. He had to bleach his surplice to get it all out. We weren't surprised when he showed up at the pub that day. We bought him a pint of Bishop's Finger and he drank it down in one. I set myself thinking yesterday. I wonder what happened to Elsie Jenkins. I think she went to university. She'd probably be mortified to know that I remember of her smelling of we in Miss Guthrie's class. Mind you, another ten years and she might be smelling of we again. It's amazing how we change over the years, isn't it? I was a quiet, shy little thing in the infants and Maureen couldn't learn to tie her laces. I remember one day after we'd done PE and she said, Miss Guthrie, look, I did my shoes all by myself. And then she stood up, took a step and fell over. And she tied one lace from each shoe together in a bow, bless her. I'd never have predicted that she would win prizes for her macrame plant pot holders. She was ever so proud. She donated one to the church raffle in 1992 and it gets put back in every year. And she's never twigged it's the same one. She always says, Oh, isn't it wonderful there are other people who do macrame? I wonder who they are. And I always look mystified. Speaking of mystified, I don't watch much telly. But the other day I saw an advert the Olympic swimming champion Mark Spitz, who said he suffers from aphids. Well, I wonder why he doesn't just put fairy liquid in his pool. That'd get rid of him. Anyway, I digress. Today's sensible tip is, I have a special meal this weekend. Maureen and Eric eat together every night on Skype. He pours himself a glass of wine and she says she has a cream soda and gets all giggly. Bless them. You take care of yourself. Stay safe. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.